it is pretty good yeah um great so when we're are you all, going to yeah, open we're all set. Yep. yeah we're all set we're loaded yeah let's go ahead and let me introduce you real quick hi everyone this is uh tom with another bifrost ama with darwinia and we got Bree from darwinia which so very happy to have you here and want to introduce you to everybody and um do you want to give a quick uh quick overview of yourself and uh say hi to the the people yeah, definitely. So hi, everyone. This is Bree from Darwinia and glad to be here at Bifrost AMA. Um, and thank you first for uh, the support from Bifrost for the SALP solution uh, to, yeah, to release the liquidity problem of our uh, contributors. Um, and I would like to give you guys a brief intro of Darwinia. Uh, so actually, Darwinia is a Web3 bridge hub built on Substrate. Um, and applications include DeFi, NFTs, and blockchain game. Uh, so we also develop a blockchain game called Evolution Land. So basically, we're the only uh, GameFi or Metaverse tech project uh, which is running for this time of Polkadot Parachain um, auction. And hopefully, I'm going to give you uh, more uh, information uh, along with some, some of the questions following up. Yeah. Uh, if you have got any question about our problem or that we need, uh, feel free to ask a question by clicking the button uh, below the screen or put your questions in the chat. We we'll love to address all of your questions and welcome to join our Telegram community. I have put the community info in the chat as well. Thank you. Yep, and we got yeah, we got a few questions too that people submitted. Uh, that's awesome, great. Yeah, so do you want to tell me first about yourself? You know, tell me a little bit of history about your about you yourself actually, and how you got into this, and how you got into crypto, and how you got. Oh uh, yeah, crypto. some of my story. Um, actually, I graduated from New York University, and I got into crypto uh, last year. Uh, and Darwinia actually was my first project. Um, so I have been working uh, with a team about a branding and marketing campaigns, um, but also uh, the blockchain game Evolution Land along with the Darwinia team. Um, so actually, uh, I'm also um, a kind of a moderator in our Darwinia community. So I've been uh, talking to our ambassadors every day. So basically, um, Darwinia community is something uh, I have been building and expanding for the last year. Yeah, that's pretty much something about myself. Yeah. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, it seems like a great, you know, a great, great group. And I know you guys have a lot going on. There's an awful yeah. lot to talk about. So definitely. Yeah, so perfect. And yeah, so yeah, definitely want to, you know, touch base on that. And then as far as um, with uh, how did you guys, uh, you know, get going with Darwinian? How did that, like, how did that spawn out of what you guys were already working on? Great. And talk about that. Like, what led to that? Yeah. Oops. Yeah, maybe like, do you, yeah. So, how did you guys get into? How did you guys leave? What what led the the, ne the necessity to create Darwinia and actually, you know, launch this project? Oh yeah. Um, so actually, Darwinia was um, developed since two thousand eighteen. Um, actually, um, we are we are like the first uh, one of the first team which pay attention to DeFi and NFT in the crypto world. Um, so as I just mentioned, we developed a game called Evolution Land, and back in 2019, uh, the the game was integrated um, Uniswap. So each and every transaction in the game uh, was uh, from Uniswap. So something really a surprising for our community was that they all got um, many uh, uni airdrop last year because they have played the game. So uh, actually back to 2019 or DeFi or MT uh, were not that really popular in the crypto world, but we uh, brought it up to the community and built 26 continents on different uh, blockchain networks to kind of create a miniature of the web three world which hasn't came yet and the cross-chain bridge technology is something like the infrastructure layer um underlying the game so the the game is kind of a showcase application of darwinia cross-chain um bridge yeah that's something about why the vision and why we created darwinia and the blockchain game um evolution land 
Yeah. That's really cool. That's really cool. Have a gaming into into this, you know, and especially these bridges between crypto. That's really cool. Awesome. Right. Yeah. And so, and you guys have, you guys have, what do you, do you guys call it the DVM? Is that right? Is that Darwinia? Uh, yeah, DVM, Darwinia Virtual Machine. Because yeah. uh, we are mm -hmm. like a bridge hub. And mm -hmm. we have uh, launched our Darwinia Ethereum bridge to support the cross-chain transfer um, between um, Darwinia and Ethereum. And there are a lot of projects they're trying to enter into the Polkadot ecosystem, but we, we, we are both running for the Polkadot parachain auction. Um, and the, the cost for the, the slot is mm -hmm. extremely, insanely expensive. Yep. But with um, kind of Ethereum virtual machine, for these um, teams, they would like to build the apps in the Polkadot ecosystem. They're able to build on Darwinia platform um, to expand our like a parachain ecosystem to bring more, um, you know, outstanding um, the apps outside the Polkadot ecosystem into that through Darwinia virtual machine. Yeah. So yep. that's called DVM. Nice. Nice. And so, yeah, one of the things I want to maybe touch on too is just talk, talking about that, about the bridges. Um, Cause a lot of people keep asking too, what, what's the difference between, you know, um, your guys' bridge with Ethereum versus uh, say Moon River. And I, I try to tell people there's a lot of different approaches to it. And, and yeah, uh, so, do you want to explain that a little bit maybe? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, let me share my screen to tell yeah. you guys a little bit okay. about uh, our bridge. Awesome. One second. Perfect. Yep. There we go. I can see it. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. So actually, I talked about our bridge uh, innovations at this year's Polkadot Decoded 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we can see that here is actually cross-chain landscape here, like hash time lock, custodian model, chain relay, and collateral-based bridges. And custodian model would be the most efficient and most inflated implemented one uh, in the market right now. But uh, let's think about that when we have to um, call, tell our friends to go out, we have to contact like Facebook to ask them out. But actually, this is not a way um, that is right for the Web3 world. Um, but with the blockchain actually obsolete this old order, which is uh, which would be institution uh, institution needed. Um, but actually, the most um, you know implemented custodial bridges are still involve uh, middlemen and institutions. So we're actually uh, facing a problem when we are doing the cross chain bridge that is called fighting or creating. And Bob Mr. Fowler once said that you never change things by finding the exact existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. But for these custodial bridges, they're actually um, still distributing this middleman. But distribution doesn't mean decentralization. And the trust costs of these custodial, custodial bridges are still really high. So actually, um, the, the founder of Polkadot, Gavin, Dr. Davin, also said probably the most expensive asset to hold it would be trust. So we really need decentralized bridges. So that's something distinguishing about Darwinia cross-chain bridge. Um, just like the slogan on the parody hat, more truth and less trust. So actually, when we are doing the cross-chain uh, interoperability, we're actually facing two different challenges. The first is how to control the lock and unlock your assets in a trusted way. Um, basically, when you cross-chain transfer your asset from the resource chain to the target chain, you're not like um, physically move these assets to another different chain. You actually mint the shadow assets on the target chain while uh, locking your original assets on the source chain. So you have to um, control the lock and unlock of your assets. And the second challenge would be how to verify the crossing transaction in a trustless way. 
And for now, for these custodial bridges, still uh, multi-sig federation is controlling your asset. So basically mean that a still a middleman involved a third party is controlling your asset and they're doing the verification of the cross-chain transaction. So it's still like trust relied. So with Darwinia cross-chain uh, bridge, we're doing uh, innovation called Darwinia chain relay from trust relied to true space, completely removed a third party middleman involved in the uh, control of your assets and verification of um, cross-chain transaction. So we're, we're building a super light client protocol and involved some, um, you know, cutting edge, um, cryptography technology such as Merkle Mountain Range optimistic verification game to uh, achieve the economic feasibility of the cross-chain bridge. So this is kind of something really technical here to, uh, you know, about the Merkle Mountain Range. So, um, so I would like to pass that. Here is the whole process of how to do the cross-chain bridge, but uh, this is the this is this kind of the cross chain dashboard when you are going to transfer um, your tokens. And recently, we just launched our substrate to substrate bridge. Basically, means that um, in the future we're able to connect Pegadot and Kusama and other substrate based projects without a pair chain slot, without an expensive pair chain slot. Yeah, hmm. and. So the most uh, distinguishing advantage of Darwinia Bridge it would be supporting the cross-chain transfer of NFTs. You know, NFT and GameFi and Metaverse are really uh, hyping up recently, but um, cross-chain bridge that support NFTs is still a challenge to a lot of uh, cross-chain bridge team. But our um, Darwinia Bridge is going to support the cross-chain transfer of NFTs to uh, empower the flourishing ecosystem of Polkadot and Kusama NFTs and GameFi ecosystem. Yeah, that's basically something about our cross-chain bridge technology. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a lot. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I mean, I see these these bridges are so, so cool. I mean, this has been, I think, the most exciting thing about, um, you know, about about these, you know, blockchain, of, you know, this highway of blockchains that, you know, Kusama and Polkadot is, is, you know, the bridges and seeing different takes on it is really cool. So definitely that's awesome. Yeah. And so when you guys, um, when you guys are actually um, working to launch these, where are you guys at with the, with your, uh, with your roadmap by, by the way, right now, where are you guys at with launching these bridges? And yeah. For the roadmap, yeah. you know, we, Darwinia mainnet has successfully launched last year and has been running for almost a year. And we launched Darwinia Ethereum Bridge, and recently we just uh, launched the Substrate to Substrate Bridge. And next, we're going to launch uh, more cross-chain bridges, like connecting more public chains, like Binance Smart Chain, to support the GameFi and Metaverse ecosystem. And then also join this time of um, pair chain Polkadot pair chain auction. And they were also going to join the fifth batch of Kusama pair chain auction. Um, to really play a role of a um, bridge hub in the Polkadot ecosystem. Yeah, so basically um, building more bridges and we're also going to develop our, continue to develop our cross-chain game Evolution Land um, to involve into a real uh, Web3 metaverse. Yeah. That's awesome. You guys are really taking on a big, huge, <laughs> huge amount of stuff. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah, I definitely think it's very cool. And yeah, and so you guys now, do you want to talk a little bit about how you guys work with the CrabNet, how the, how the CrabNet work works, and then how that plays in with Darwinia? Yeah, cr CrabNet works. So let me uh, share another screen to show you the relationship between Darwinia yeah. and CrabNet work. Uh, I think that came up as a couple of questions people are talking about. So. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's look at the illustration here to see the relationship between Darwinia and Crab Nat's work. Um, Let's 
we just tweet about it. Yeah. So this is a tweet about our um, recent update of launching Substrate to Substrate Bridge between Darwinia and Crab Network. So Crab Network, let's see the illustration here. Crab Network is the canary network of Darwinia. So basically, it's like the relationship between Kusama and Polkadot. So uh, recently, we just launched a substrate, substrate bridge between Darwinia and Crab. Um, so a lot of, you know, um, and Crab is going to support Darwinia virtual machine. Um, so Crab would be the platform for those um, D apps or applications outside the Polkadot ecosystem. They would like to uh, build, uh, enter into the Polkadot ecosystem. They uh, Crab would be an ideal platform for them to build. And it, it has really um, micro gas fee, uh, but really nice uh, okay. user experience and supporting Dar Darwinia virtual machine, but also with the bridge with Darwinia to connect to uh, Polkadot. Yeah, so Crab would be the ideal platform for Ethereum DApps um, importing from Ethereum to Polkadot. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. Yeah, very awesome. This really works well, definitely. Cool. So yeah, so with um with that with with that um with that taking place and and actually once you once you guys launch now with your your uh, strategy for the crowd loan um do you want to talk about that? I mean, I, I know you kind of talked about the parachain, like what you guys are going to do with the parachain, but more importantly, like what is your guys' strategy for that? How do you guys see that um, accelerating things? You know, winning that hopefully hope you guys win one. I think you guys will. Um, All right. So let me. Uh, share mm -hmm. my screen now. Um, yeah, so basically here, uh, Darwinia for now is the only GameFi or Metaverse tag project which is running for the Polkadot parachain auction. So mm -hmm. if you're really a fan of the Web3 Metaverse or GameFi um, to I guess Darwinia would be the best choice for you to contribute your dots because you're also invest in the next generation of Web3 Metaverse. So let me show you the uh, contribution dashboard here. Yep. So we're going to uh, have um, the token prize with both Ring and Kton here. You can see the... Um, token prize pool here and we also have got a referral program for you guys um and something really interesting would be i guess it's, oh yeah something really interesting would be the btc grand prize and we have we we are going to see this uh contribution pioneers here so the btc grand prize the highlight would be this is actually a guaranteed prize um, no matter if Darwinia is going to finally win a parachain slot or not, we're going to distribute the BTC grand prize on December 23rd. Um, not many days to go, uh, just a couple of days to go. And once Darwinia, you know, uh, is going to, uh, you know, I, I cannot say that. Uh, it's just we're going to distribute the prize on Dece December 23rd, no matter the final, um, wow. you know, right. Yeah. If Darwin is going to succeed or not, we're going to distribute the BDC prize. And you're actually able to win the BDC prize within just a month because we just opened our crowd loan last month and we're going to distribute uh, the BDC prize a couple of days ago. You don't need to wait for some new tokens to get listed. You don't need to worry about if this project is going to finally win or not. It's pretty stable uh, with very high yields. So we can see these pioneers are actually competing with each other. Um, we're seeing the really interesting competition here to uh, win the BDC prize. So if you are a kind of um, that kind of person with uh, the same investment strategy, um, looking for some stable yields, um, and the BDC, you know, the space for BDC is, is still very nice in the future. Um, I guess supporting Darwinia would be a very nice choice for you. And this is also the referral leaderboard for Darwinia. 
uh, and we can see that only for referral rewards, it's mm -hmm. up to um, it's up to um, twenty hundred thousand drinks. It's pretty um, generous referral rewards here. Definitely. So for the leaderboards, um, the top three. Um, on the leaderboard, they're going to win up to extra um, eight percent of the referral uh, program. Nice. Yeah, and if you cool. support Arwenia via Bifrost um, channel, you know um, Bifrost is has the really nice chance to uh, be the top on our referral uh, leaderboard, and will help you to win up to extra eight percent of the token rewards so yeah. uh, we also highly recommend you to uh support our winia via bifrost channel yeah. also yeah. the way being bnc extra rewards yeah yeah i want to ask you about that you know how did you how'd you uh um how'd you come across how'd you guys decide to work with bifrost uh what what attracted to you to it i mean i think one of the biggest things i tell people all the time i'm like i i love i, I love telling people to support through bifrost because you do get access to your liquidity. So you can support great projects like yourself, like Darwinia, and you still get access to your liquidity, which a lot of people don't understand. So maybe uh, talk about that real quick. How did you guys get paired with it? How has been the process? How's the partnership going with Bifrost? Um, yeah, we actually, um, let me, let me share the screen huh? to the Bifrost app here. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you, you guys can see the Bifrost dashboard for the Polkadot Parachain auction. Okay. Um, the main, mainly we worked with Bifrost is because you're um, in very nice uh, VS solution to release the liquidity for uh, our contributors. So actually, if you um, contribute to bio like Polkadot JS, you have to lock your dots for a very long time uh, to lose your liquidity. But for uh, with Bifrost um, SALP solution, you're going to keep the liquidity of your dots. And we're also going to launch the, the mind define mining pool with Bifrost to uh, afford you extra BNC rewards to um, you know, at the same time, keep the liquidity of your thoughts, but also uh, get to extra rewards of BNC. I guess that would be really attractive to the community. So that's why we um, we worked with Bifrost. Um, and for some of our story back then, we worked with, um, we announced our partnership actually last year. Um, and Bifrost going to also integrate our Winia Bridge to expand the um, at the ecosystem asset of Bifrost um, to uh, expand to other ecosystem like Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum. So we announced a partnership last year. So Bifrost uh, has always been the dear friend of Darwinia. So that's the mainly two reasons why we worked with Bifrost and um, supporting Darwinia via Bifrost app um, is pretty easy. So mm -hmm. you just enter into the website of Bifrost app and founding the crowd loan website and you just click contribute and you're able to um, support a Winia crowd loan via Bifrost. App. Awesome. Yeah, that's definitely uh, that's the way I'm going to be supporting you guys. Definitely. I'm definitely backing you guys and I definitely will go through Bifrost because yeah, having, so having asked, yeah, no, having the access to liquidity is so awesome. It's it's great. It's it's nice. I, I tell people all the time, yeah. Because I think that's a lot of times people's hesitations. They they find a project like Darwinia, which is really cool and innovative, and you, you love the project, you want to back it, but then they're like, well, my my dot's going to be locked up for a long time. I don't know how the market's going to go. So this is a great way right. to actually, yeah, be able to support the project and still do that. So definitely, yeah, it's really cool. Awesome, awesome. Cool. There was one uh, one more question too. I, I I got this is a community question that that's kind of come up, and I was going to ask. Thought I'd ask it since we were since we're talking about the, the crowd loan. Um, the ring token. Do you want to talk a, a little bit about the ring token and about its utility and kind of where you see that going and um, that kind of thing? Okay. Um, yeah. So. 
for a ring token, I am going to I'm going to share my screen to talk about a ring here. Yeah, actually, I I haven't talked much about our cross trade game Evolution Land. So actually, yeah, yeah. Rain is a native token of the game um, Evolution Land. So actually, if you got the Rain token, you're able to experience the game Fi in Evolution Land here. Awesome. So Evolution Land is actually the first DeFi plus NFT cross-chain game and with 26 different continents. So with the Rain token, you're able to buy a piece of NFT land in the game. And you are able to put your mining uh, characters called a puzzles on your NFT land to do the mining job to mine five different resources. And these resources are actually uh, tokens, you're able to trade them or put them in a DeFi farm to earn yields or put these tokens into your mining drills to upgrade your NFT mining tours. Uh, plenty of gameplays for you to experience game fine and earn profits in the game. So rain would be the native token of evolution land. So that's a very um, important utility of rain. And also you're able to do the rain staking at Darwinia mainnet. Uh, so for, for me, uh, I'm able to like mine uh, 700 rings a day. So that's pretty nice um, staking uh, rewards as well. Um, also, you can you can stake your rings to mine Katon, and Katon would be the governance token of Darwinia. Holding Katon, you're able to uh, vote for the future um, design or development of Evolution Land. You're going to build your own continent. Let's say the name of our different continents are are all like voted by the on-chain governance by our Katon holders. I guess that would be the three main utilities of Darwinia uh, native token ring. And also ring is the, um, you, you, you have to pay the ring token for cross chain transfer using Darwinia bridge. Yeah, that's something about um, the native token of Darwinia. And I would like to share some, um, you know, recent updates of um, evolution land here to get you know more about uh, ring token utility in the game. Um, okay. So actually, I guess the community care a lot about mm -hmm. the how how can we play to earn in the game Evolution Land and how much are we supposed to earn in the game? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I guess all all of you have watched. <laughs> the clip of meta and also in the in a clip it mentioned that in order to unlock the potential of the metaverse there needs to be interoperability and darwin has been always working on the interoperability for the future infrastructure for the metaverse here so maybe maybe mark zuckerberg stole it from you guys right So let's see the yields of uh -huh. evolution land here. I guess there was a... Yeah. Uh, so let's, let's look at here. It is called uh, Grain Gods in Evolution Land. This is actually the DeFi center of Evolution Land. And you have to uh, put your ring and resource uh, LP tokens into the DeFi farm to earn yields here. And we can see the APR is over 300%. Um, that's, that would be a very nice and very general, um, you know, GameFi rewards um, mm -hmm. in many, um, you know, GameFi uh, projects. And I think sustainable uh, tokenomics would be really critical for a GameFi project or a Metaverse game. And for a lot of GameFi projects, you're able to earn a lot at the beginning, but it's not sustainable 
Um, but Darwinia has a very nice token, uh, very sustainable tokenomics because it has been developed since 2018 and still offering uh, such APR for our community and players. So um, I guess if you're interested in the GameFi or Metaverse project, but you do not know how to kick off, I guess Evolution Land would be a very nice choice for you to experience. Yeah. Thank very you. cool. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like yeah, it's such a fun game. It seems like uh, it'd be very addicting to play this <laughs> in a fun way. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. So, so you have that. Um, so um, there, the, I guess, so yeah, do you want to talk about Katon a little bit? Cause I know somebody else asked about that, about the governance and the power of voting and on-chain governance. This is the question that came in. So maybe if you want to talk a little bit how that's, that's used the Katon, I know you were kind of talking about it here a little bit, but yeah okay i think that that was let me show you the so yeah so evolution land is also a dao a decentralized autonomous autonomous organization here so here is the dashboard how you participate in the uh, evolution land governance so um if you're a Katon holder, you're going to see the, cause I, I didn't, I didn't locked in here. So um, have you, if you have connected to your wallet, you will see your Katon power here yeah. and your land power and your puzzle power. If you own several pieces of land in evolution, land, you also got your uh, power here. And we're going to have different proposal lists here. And uh, holding Katon would afford you the voting power and you're going to, uh, you know, decide the future design uh, and uh, evolution of the game. Um, also at Darwinia mainnet, you're going to, uh, you're able to lock your rings to mine Katon to do the staking. So Katon is, is not just the governance token of Darwinia, it's also the commitment token of Darwinia. We consider the long time uh, attention uh, from the community, from our users. So that's why we reward them the Katon token as uh, kind of the proof of commitment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Definitely the most active people deserve it, right? <laughs> so very cool. Yeah. So so with with, uh, with your guys' plans for the future, I know um, that's a couple of things that I mentioned. I think Vlad also asked the question here and a few other people have asked about the next year. Um, and also, too, I've looked at your guys' uh, roadmap on your website, which is great to have. It's, and I, I see that you guys are working on ERC-20 registration, you know, and where are you guys all with that? And then where do you guys see for the next year just other things? Do you guys have anything else huge in the pipeline or you want to talk about? this next year yeah for the roadmap um we just you, you talk about a general erc20 uh, mm -hmm. registration uh do you guys the bnc token do you have a erc20 version of your bnc token or just mean that token what's that i'm sorry for for, yeah, for, for, BNC, for BNC, yeah if i fall for bifrost your bnc yeah, token do you BNC, have a, yeah it's just the bnc right now yeah mm -hmm. Okay, so do you have a URC20 version or just a B, the Bifrost? Just, just, just the Bifrost. Okay. Yeah. Just, um, so a lot of uh, Polkadot ecosystem projects, they both have yep. URC20 version of token and yep. that token. So uh, we're for the next roadmap, if we open the general res registration of all URC20 token, a lot of Ethereum projects are able to use Darwinia Bridge to enter into the Polkadot ecosystem. And then um, a lot of like Ethereum ecosystem asset holder, they're able to pay like Ethereum ecosystem assets to use the service, uh, like the five service of Bifrost or um, buying NFTs uh, on Kusama and Polkadot. That's something Darwinia is going to support. And we just mentioned yeah. about an NFT bridge. We're going to work with like uh, RMRK, which mm -hmm. is an uh, yeah. NFT project on Kusama to support their uh, cross-chain NFT transfer. Yeah, that's yeah. something about our further roadmap. I didn't yeah, you just mention. Mentioned, yeah, you just mentioned Remark, the partnership with you. And then the partnerships too with um, across, I mean, I do I do think that the community with uh, Kusama and Polkadot is just fantastic in the way these projects support each other. I, I don't feel like you guys are really competitors. It's more of 
you know, you look at them as your neighbors, I think it's an, right, it's a nice, yeah. it's a nice group. So, so yeah, do you have, any, do you have, do you have, how has, how has, how has that been working with the different uh, groups? So like working with Remark and, and Bifrost and some of the other, other. Um, yeah. So let's look at the bridge ecosystem. Of I think we just lost. We just lost three. Let me answer. Oh, perfect. There we go. Yep. Uh, so is. let's mm -hmm. look at a bridge ecosystem of Darwinia here to see how we are working with our neighbors and awesome. other ecosystem projects. Yeah, so this is actually um, ecosystem projects of Darwinia, like Bifrost. Um, these projects have announced to implement Darwinia Bridge to expand uh, the project to more uh, ecosystem, but not just Polkadot or Ethereum. And something really important that do you know Subscan? Also, the WIA team has uh, developed the substrate-based explorer called Subscan to provide data support for all our uh, Polkadot neighbor uh, projects. Yeah, and yeah. you're also going to see the progress of the Polkadot parachain auction on Subscan here. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. Perfect. So definitely that looks exciting. You guys got a lot in the pipeline and a lot to be excited about. Definitely. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to add real quick before we wrap up the call? I definitely think you guys have so much going on and it's, it's exciting stuff. And yeah. So, um, I guess we had a very nice and wonderful conversation to cover uh, from the vision and technology and the crowd loan of Darwinia. And yeah. something I really would like to uh, to add is that um, I guess if you're really interested in the future, like interop cross stream interoperability or metaverse or GameFi, I guess supporting Darwinia to winning a parachain slot to empower more. Um, Polkadot's projects uh, would be a very um, nice choice for you, not just the, for the rewards, because why we're participating in the Polkadot Perishing Auction, because um, all these projects have to work on their customized um, applications and business. Um, we don't want them to waste too much time on the infrastructure, like say building bridges, like, you know, Bifrost, they need to get connected to Ethereum. They build a bridge on their uh, on themselves. Another projects, they are uh, wasting too much time on infrastructure. Uh, and with Darwinia as a bridge hub, uh, like Bifrost or Cross or Fala, they can all connect it or use Darwinia Bridge to go to different destinations outside of Polkadot ecosystem, but save much time for them to, you know, uh, flourish their own ecosystem or applications. I guess that would be a really nice way to empower the whole Polkadot ecosystem, just, just like Ethereum itself. So that's why we're running for this time of Polkadot perishing auction. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think that's a great thing. I think that, you know, the, 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 the bridges are just the, you know, the most exciting things about, you know, the way, you know, this is going and you guys seem like you guys have a very, very good approach. I'm definitely going to be, I'll, I'll personally support you guys. Definitely. I'm definitely backing in. I'm excited to see you guys okay. uh, continually you so develop. And, and I'm, uh, I'm afraid that I, I, I got to stay, try to stay away from that game because it looks very addicting and fun. <laughs> so, yeah, so it definitely evolution land looks really cool. So. We're definitely send you some NFTs uh, for you to kick off the game experience. Oh, that. fun! Oh, I'm excited to play it. Yeah, so more so cool. Thank you so much, Bree, and you know you guys are very impressive, and you know I really hope wish you guys the best, and I think that the community will support you guys. And I do remind everybody on the call, please, if you if you're looking at supporting and you're hesitant about locking up your you know your polka dot. Go through Bifrost, you won't have to worry about that. And you can, you know, support Bree and Darwinia and, you know, see it, you know, do what yeah. you want. Yeah. Great. And as you supporting Darwinia, you're going to win a Metaverse AFT package as well for you to kick off the game with awesome. zero prior cost. Yeah. Wow. So That's really cool. Definitely 
the Port Arwenia Bio Bifrost channel. Cool. Great. Bree, thank you for your time. Very impressive. And uh, congratulations on your guys' success so far. And, you know, future congratulations on on winning the, the Parachain slot because I know you guys will win one. So thank, thank you, you so much. Take care. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Bye. Thank you for coming. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. You too. Thanks. Thanks.